sell crack, sell heroin. Stab man, we shoot man, punch man. And when we have to run, we run. Or we never run. If you step on someone's shoes, they're gonna kill you. I just want all this to stop. I wanna feel safe when I go out. In the last year, 11 people have been murdered in Hackney. Drugs, including crack cocaine and heroin, are widespread. But does that make violence and gangs an inevitable part of young people's lives here? I'm Peter, and um, we're in Hackney. We're in um, a block, like this is just one of six blocks. So I've got friends that live all over the blocks, you know what I mean? I'm not really someone that would find interest in going out and hurting someone and putting my face on TV for doing various criminal activities. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't really find being in a gang very interesting. Hello, my name is Bianca. I'm 16. I study performing arts. My star son is Taurus. I love children. I want to get married um, in about, about 20. Um, this all around us is the block, basically. All around us is the block. It's like, it's the ends. Ends is like your area, like, these are my ends because I'm from M4, so it's like, rep your ends, basically. It's like, represent your ends, basically, yeah. Do you like your block? No, not really, but like, it's got to live with it, innit? Okay. If we look back at the four shootings, that happened in South London, most of them happened in their own house. And me personally, I would feel safe, this all 100% safe in my own house because I know I'm behind my locked doors. From time someone comes into your house and invades you, then you can't feel safe. Me really, it don't make my life stressful because this is what happens every day. Basically, I think you can't feel safe anywhere, nowhere at all. You're not safe in your own home. In my house, like, you never know, someone might just decide to mash up my window, break my door down, I come in and they want to do me something, and I'm like, I have to make sure I've got something there, so if they want to bang me or they want to do something to me, I'm ready to lick them too. Not that I like fighting, I don't like to fight because I don't believe in violence, but if it's self-protection, then yeah, I'm going to do something about it. Over the past couple of days and weeks I've been filming of my own and I filmed my sister's boyfriend, Pierre, who's 18 years of age, my younger sister's boyfriend. And I spoke to him about what he thinks about gun crime, knife crime and um, um, young pregnancies and things like that. So would you class yourself as a ghetto person? Not really, now nah, because you see, the way I see it, yeah, there ain't really no ghetto on these streets, you get me? It's just people holding down what they're doing. A lot of young teenagers going around with knives and guns, you get me? Thinking they're ghetto people, but they, they don't really understand the ghetto. For people to understand the ghetto, but you got to go and I'll say at least live five, six years in Rio Janeiro, but you get me? Then you know what ghetto is. What is a ghetto to you? Man, to me, I don't... Personally, my view of ghetto, yeah, it's like... Not someone that wears hoodies and wears someone that got baggy trousers. I'm talking real bad breeds, you get me? People that are like, that's done bare shit from, you know what I mean? That ain't been caught. Robberies and bare different things, like proper big robberies. Not little robberies where you go on the street and rob someone for their phone and shit. No, I'm talking big boy robberies. Have yeah. you ever stolen anything in your life? Bah. <laughs> Obviously, everyone has, isn't it? Nah. I've done my thing. Other people do their thing. Young people make up over a quarter of the population of Hackney. They're overrepresented as both perpetrators and victims of crime. Little wonder that everyone seems to know someone in jail. And even for Peter, 